that is his disability. They told us when he, we, he was first tested when he was young that if he ever said anything, it'd be repeating words over and over again, but he'd never have a real vocabulary. Wow. So he has a lot more words than he used to have, and he can, he doesn't, he's not as frustrated as he used to be because he can tell you what he'd like to do. And I'm grateful for all the opportunities because all of that uh, got in, enhanced when he was here. I picked up uh, and even added more than what I was already doing. That was beautiful. You covered like every inch. Amazing. <coughs> Look at the rim. Yeah, since he was, uh, how many years has he been now? Maybe Probably 10, years. at least 10, maybe 12. And he still loves it. He still loves it. He not only comes for the week long in the summer, but then we do one or two uh, respite uh, weekends as well. The first time we came here wasn't very successful. Uh... <laughs> I kept saying, let's take it back to camp. And he kept saying, no, he didn't like it very much. So we didn't do it. We didn't do it. And finally one year I said, we're going to do it. We brought him here. We spent the whole week wondering, why haven't they caught us? What's going on? Is he okay? <laughs> and finally when I picked him up, took him home, and he ran to his room, and then I, I put the suitcase over to the washing machine, and I started emptying out the contents of a suitcase into the washing machine. And Patrick came running out from my his room and slammed the suitcase on my hand. I said, no! He didn't want me to pack. He wanted to light camp. He didn't want you to unpack, yeah. So ever since then, we try to feed him as much as we can. In fact, we we can't tell him too far in advance that he's coming because otherwise, you know, he just gets too excited and won't sleep. Yeah, it's just <laughs> like, uh, well, the thing that makes him unique is, it makes Camp Stand By Me unique is they'll actually take him in. I mean. There's just so many places that he wouldn't be allowed to go just because of his disability. Camp Stand By Me is a barrier-free residential camp for kids and adults with disabilities. We serve age seven through the lifespan, and we make regular camping activities accessible. Since I began as camp director a few months ago, every weekend we have had a family out that has never had a break. Um, since their child was born, they have been the primary caregiver and unable to take much time for themselves. For me? Yeah, you. <laughs> they get a break, they get some time off, but it's also knowing that their kid or the person that they care give for is able to engage in activities that are so, so rare for this population. There is not a lot of recreation services, especially for adults with disabilities, so they know that they get to go and do things like anyone else does. Uh, I am not sure if there have been any days other than when he's been here that he's been away from both my wife and I, ever. <laughs> I think the, uh, the concern was that people wouldn't know what to do to handle Kian. Um, you know, we had some concerns about him being, you know, lonely or wondering where his parents were and that kind of stuff, but we were a little more comfortable with that than the, you know, 
would all the folks here be prepared for you know for his quirks you know and when we got and when we came back and, and met with folks you know it was no problem it wasn't like a, we persevered he was terrible but we persevered it was you know he was great uh, you know he had a good time they'd not found him to be, to be any uh, anything out of the ordinary for what you know what the counselors had normally dealt with so well, I don't come to every respite, unfortunately, but I will take the bus to Portland and then borrow my mom's car and drive up. Thank you. So it's about like a five, six hour commute, depending on traffic, sometimes seven hours. But it's worth it because I love it here. It's just like a place where I can vent what's going on because a lot of the volunteers here uh, kind of have the same lifestyle and can relate to what's going on. No other camp is available all year round. And that's a long time for someone to, to not be able to come here if you, can't, if you only can come in the summertime. So being able to come for respite really, really is a big, big asset. It was re yeah, essentially the only respite because we, we are his caregivers 24 by 7. So this was a, a, a good and welcome break for us as well. For me, it's, it's, it's what respite is. I get a break, but he's having a good time. If he's not having a good time, I don't, that's not respite for me. I don't necessarily uh, do it so that we can have the break. But we're not going to be here, here with them forever. We want them to have experiences, positive experiences, with you know, without us around, with other people looking out for them. What makes you want to bring Patrick back? What he loves it. Yeah. I mean, we, sometimes it takes us three hours on a Friday night to get here, <laughs> and then we drive back home. But, you know, but it's worth it because he's so happy. Disability services has been evolving for decades. And it was not that long ago when people with disabilities were kept in institutions and sheltered workshops. And so as we're moving people into the light and realizing what supports we need to give, we are slowly opening people's eyes. We're slowly getting the word out. Um, but we are, it's a very large task. There has been a lot of mistreatment of the populations that we work with and we are still working towards making them visible and redefining disability for the 21st century. As for what the campers get, I always like to go to this poem in the staff manual. It's called Freedom, and it was written by a camper several years ago. Time goes on, but for some it has taken a different beat. I feel at peace. I have received a release. Surrounded by those who are different. Many will never see what kind of freedom this can be. I watch and see many faces who want to be loved and to be free. Too often, people do not see us. They do not know what we can do. But those who are different have wings and feelings too. All we want is to be loved and taught, but too often we are tossed and lost. A short period of freedom, that's what this camp is. Where we can learn to fly and how to touch the sky. Yeah, it was really fun. It was your first time at camp, right? Yeah. Was it how you expected? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna come back this summer. Hey, good for you, Megan. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Will you take me again? <laughs>